What's going on everybody? Dumb boys back at it. This is going to be our single back wing slot offense. This is going to work with our trips tight end scheme, all right? So when we put a tight end out wide to block for that bubble screen, this is the other reason we're doing it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to give you two run plays and multiple setups out of one pass play for part one. There will be more coming. Oh yeah. So I'll give you the four plays we're going to go ahead and set as audibles, and then we're just going to get right into in-game footage to learn. Inside cross is the first play you'll set as your audible. Stretch alert bubble is the next play. Halfback dive as well. And lastly, P-A-Y cross flood. I'm not going to give you setups for the Y cross flood yet. That'll be part two, but just a sneak peek of what I'm thinking and what's going to be coming up. So for this first setup, we're going to go ahead and put B on a slant. You could put him on a out as well to clear the post. We're going to put RB on a flat to try to bring open that wheel route, making this a phenomenal red zone play as well. That was against cover four, and you see I was able to split the safeties. Um, again, same thing. You could just put B on a out to try to pull open that post depending on what kind of defense you think is coming. For most of these setups, it doesn't really matter what side of the field you're on as well. Just note that. So this is going to be the same setup, except you'll need tight end apprentice, and we're going to put A on a post. Here you'll need dual tight end apprentice or HRM. So same thing, we're going to have A on the post, except we're going to zig B, and we're going to put RB on a flag. We'll have that wheel underneath the flag to create a high low if they're in a zone. Uh, and then obviously if they're in man, there you go. Uh, this is going to be my beater setup. I'm on the wrong side of the field if you're trying to use it as a beater. So we're going to drag B, drag RB, block Y, put A on a flag route. Now, I know I'm looking at man. That's the only reason I'm doing that on that side of the field. But if you're going to be, you know, if you think it's his own, you really do want to be to the opposite side of the field for that setup. Uh, then I just kind of wanted to show you the effectiveness of some of these runs here. Uh, this stretch is great. The bubble on the RPO does work pretty well uh, also. Uh, and then we're going to show you the dives, and I just want you to focus on some of the motions here that I use and when I snap these. That is important. Uh, so there, you know, just motion him across, follow him. I like that setup with the receivers to the short side of the field. Uh, but not necessary, right? As you see there, it just kind of depends when you hit it and where you're trying to go. Uh, on the goal line here, I motion the inside TDE across. The reason I do that is he seems to jump out there a little bit better uh, and get a straight on block versus the outside wide tight end. Sometimes kind of runs out wide or takes a different angle. Uh, so note there is a little bit of a difference there. 